he said he was getting to go back to his house, okay, and then he would usually just bring her to his room and get naked and put on a condom, okay, and I was like, are you touching the vagina, are you touching the clit, huh, what? What's up guys, John Anthony here from John Anthony Lifestyle and today I want to talk about how to not have an awkward first kiss, okay, that painful thing you see in the movies, okay, where you have the guy awkwardly kind of leaning in with his lips puckered, kind of doing one of these, you know, and the girl is just kind of putting up a hand or dodging accordingly, okay. <laughs> we'll go over how not to get into that situation, how you can actually have a, a proper first kiss, okay, and I'm fucking holding the recorder because my bathing suit is wet. Okay, before we continue, please subscribe and like and share if you find value. Um, new videos every day at 2 p.m. Eastern. The main reason why the guy goes for this big move, a lot of it's coming from Hollywood, a lot of it's coming from this societal narrative that like, you know, if you take a girl out, right, you should just, you know, walk her home or like fucking, you know, it's all this stuff in the movies about like, <laughs> look at this girl. <laughs> it's like a girl like, really sticking her ass out. But yeah, there's this whole societal narrative that, you know, you, you kind of like go back to the, the, you walk the girl up to her door and then like, that's like this big moment, okay? And it's like big move to get this kiss. And that's incredibly flawed. I don't know if you, if, well, how many of you guys watching think that's true, but on some level, you're, you're still thinking, even if it's not at your fucking doorstep, like in a movie, you're still thinking about how, um, how do I go about getting this, right? Like, how do, I, hope I, don't, I hope I don't miss my chance. I hope I don't fuck it up. All right, so first of all, um, physical escalation should be this gradual process, okay? It should be hand on her leg, slight handhold touch, okay? Hand around her side, hand around her back, et cetera, et cetera. And as you move forward, there's like a progressive amount of physicality, okay? So that by the time you get to the kiss, it's just the next thing that's happening, okay? And then the same thing happens. So that by the time you get to sex, <laughs> it's cute. The, I came to the beach for the day with these girls I had a threesome with and they're sitting huddled together looking off at the sunset. So like what's cool is it's not that big of a deal when you hit the kiss because it's the next step and it's a small little baby step, it's a small compliance uh, ask. Okay, when, when you get to the sex, small little baby step, it's a small compliance next step. The problem with making the kiss a big move or, or going for sex when you haven't had any kind of physicality or any kind of makeout before that is that you're doing this big jump, right? So instead of it being like just the next little step, it's now platonic friend zone, platonic friend zone, platonic friend zone. Oh, let me like lean in with my lips puckered, right? And the girl's like, holy fuck. All right, now that same girl that would have banged you had you done a proper gradual sequence of escalation so that the kiss was the next logical thing in the progression, you could have probably banged that girl. But instead, you played it safe, which is what a lot of guys do, they're like, um, what if the girl is offended when I'm physical there? What if, you know, what if she doesn't like it? What if, what if this blows my chances? Like, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Okay, wrong mindsets, okay? Of course, you should be gradually building physicality. Most girls are gonna be cool with that and, and want you to do it and expect you to do it. And if she, for whatever reason she's not comfortable or it's like too much or whatever, you just back off, okay, and apologize and proceed forward. Like, that's all there is to really be said about it. Like, the reason why a lot of you are getting last minute resistance, okay, otherwise known as LMR, which, which is like, you're about to have sex with a girl and like she's like, no. It's mostly because it came out of nowhere or it was too much of a jump, okay? You can't go from just like a, a poke and, you know, a light hand touch to like suddenly like, okay, let's fucking put on a condom and like go crazy in bed. It needs to be this gradual thing. Like I literally had a client, he w I taught him how to get girls home from the club and then he said, he wasn't making out with them on the way home. He said he was getting to go back to his house, okay, and then, he would usually just bring her to his room and get naked and put on a condom, okay? And I was like, are you touching the vagina? Are you touching the clit? Huh? What? Okay. <clears throat> and most of you guys are afraid to be physical on the date and stuff like that. Point being, okay, you want to be gradually building it up, as I said many times, so it's just the next small next step, okay? So it's not going to be some big thing out of nowhere, okay? If you fix that, your game is going to go a lot further. If we, if we were to run a whole bunch of split tests where you went on 10 dates and did no physical escalation, okay? And then you tried to do a big move for a kiss or a big move for whatever, okay? Like inviting her back, right? Like out of nowhere instead of seeding it earlier on, which is how I instruct. Um, not not going to go into the deta details of all that. But if you stop making a big move and, it, and then you did 10 um, split tests where it was, guys building this gradual progression, 
um, these, this group is going to get a lot further, obviously. Okay, and I want that to be evident. And a lot of you that were afraid to um, escalate or, or go for a kiss sooner, okay, know that playing it safe and holding back and stuff, a lot of times it's going to fuck your chances. Okay. So I hope that was helpful. Uh, please subscribe if you have not already. If you're new to the channel, new videos every day at 2 p.m. Eastern time. Um, make sure you like and subscribe with your friends. We are almost 10,000 subscribers. And there's our new value-packed videos coming out every single day. So <laughs> make sure you uh, stay tuned for those. Okay, thank you guys. I'm John Anthony. I'll see you in the next video. Some do it for the income, but we do it for the outcome. Some of us are active while others just let their mouth run. No doubt, son, this is not just about fun. We will not be outdone by these cowards who shout scum.